Hi Woodlanders. We had literally just finished this morning talking about whether or not you'd be interested to see what we do on our yards with our horses when lo and behold my horse came in from the field to be ridden and he's got a nasty scrape on his leg. So what I thought I'd do is let you have a look at the process that I'm going to undertake just checking it out and making sure he's okay and we'll meet out on the yard. So this is Kai. Kai's going to be five in October and he's just come in from the field rugged up looking very happy but looking down I've seen some blood on his leg and further exploration shows that he's got quite a nasty scrape just below the hock. So what I've done, I've taken the rug off and I've had a really good look elsewhere and I've also found that he's got quite a nasty deep wound over his stifle. So what I've noticed bringing him in is that he's not particularly lame so I'm not panicking and he's not bleeding particularly badly. So we're next going to go to the stage of cleaning up the wound and assessing it. If it was bleeding really really badly what I would do is get a clean pad, something clean, cotton, dressing, gamgee and I would put pressure straight over the wound and just keep it there tight even bandaging over the top if needs be and putting another pad on the top but this is okay this is not bleeding badly so here's one of my favorite items of the first aid kit my trusty hose pipe and for about 15 minutes I'm just going to gently trickle this down from above the wound which will just help irrigate and wash out any bits and pieces that might be there and we'll also because it's cold just slow down the blood supply what we don't do is stick our finger over the end of the hose however tempting and jet wash the wound out because what that could do is to drive any dirt further into the wound which would increase the chance of infection You'll notice I've tied Kai's tail up um, and if the horse is being a fidget, either a hay net tied up for them to munch away at or have someone at the shoulder just making sure that they're using whatever means of bribery to actually distract the horse from what you're doing. So what I've, what I've done here now is to just gather together the things that I think I might need. Um, and again, there's a certain amount of personal preference here based on common sense. I have got a selection of some gamgee, some of which I have pre-cut here. This is also very good for putting straight over wounds that are bleeding badly. I have some sterile hydrogel, which um, I get from my vet and produces the correct environment for wound healing. I have bandages, I have a sterile non-stick dressing and I also actually my preference and what I like is a cotton wool roll to actually create some padding underneath the bandage. The other thing I could have done and did do with the stifle wound was to use some swabs with saline solution just to clean the wound a little bit more. Not a great fan of cotton wool because what it can do is to leave fibres in the wound. I've put my hydrogel onto the dressing and I'm now going to put this onto Kai's leg. Um, at this point I'd really like you guys to be wearing your PPE because you can see that Kai, like any horse with a wound, is just saying, oh my leg, it really, really stings. So it's so important that you keep yourself safe and you watch his body language. So I'm now putting um, my padding over the top of the dressing and that will go underneath the stable bandage which I'm going to apply. You'll see that um, we've got a bandage on the other leg just to offer some support. We always bandage in pairs, smoothing it down, making sure there are no lumps or bumps and just putting on a small amount of duct tape over the Velcro fastenings just as an extra sort of safety measure um, so that the bandages don't become undone at any point in time. So in summary, um, all horses should be covered for tetanus and you'll see, as in the photo, that you'll see on your horse's passport that this will come up on the um, vaccination sticker as having a T alongside your influenza vaccination or as a standalone that when you're cleaning the horse you don't use anything harsh in terms of chemicals so things like disinfectant purple spray none of these are good for soft tissue and can actually damage it that if you have a wound that doesn't seem to correspond with the amount of lameness you're seeing so for example it's over a joint that you really do need to get help but above all else that you stay safe and you read around your subjects and you keep coming to your stable management when we can see you in person as well thanks so much for coming into my tack room it's been great seeing you. Bye.